Welcome to a Pepe analysis video. Let's jump into this. I've been trading for eight years, guys. Eight thousand well eight years okay um in my experience when we do see structure like this on a chart whether it's pepe whether it's a meme coin whether it's forex stocks whatever uh, it's typically a bad sign okay we are currently underneath this trend line right now and i've been quite generous with it as well i haven't gone super tight as you can see uh, but as you can see it is currently below it on the daily okay so if the markets are going to dump today where will this land well let's just take a look at our ranging indicator uh, for now we've got the 60 minute volume weighted average true range what this means is it basically plots the average range of the price and it weights it by the volume coming into the market right so a very very handy indicator cater for finding uh, supports and resistances and we can say with this thing uh, yeah there is a lot of supports we can use horizontally of course but uh, with this it says the next support is at 710 okay uh, or 720 uh, being this 60 minute okay we are just kind of brushing along the 15 minute if we go down to like a four hour or something like that you can see how this is shaping up okay it's it's not it's not the end of the world right now. It's not uh, everyone short time, okay? But uh, what I will be expecting here is a low to be made somewhere around this area. Then we'll probably retest. And then if we break this low after that time, right, uh, then that's really the time where you want to get worried because that's when we can go into some sort of free fall, okay? And if we are on the four hour here as well, let's just see if we can plot any big patterns coming through here. Uh, so obviously we've got this uh, coming through uh, and yeah, I mean, you can draw this uh, a few different ways. Let's just get rid of this for now and really plot in the measure move on this four hour. Okay, uh, we can see here, yeah, pretty decent pattern here. Definitely one that can be traded. So this will be the area I'll be watching for potentially us coming down. Uh, and yeah, if we lose 700, that, that's basically the short story here, right? If we lose 700, I think it's highly likely we come down to about 560. We'll probably make a low around that point. Okay, uh, and then uh, it's really up for debate. Do we come down and test the main structural support line uh, which I will just show you here right so the main structural support line uh, and we haven't really tested this structural support in a while so it would make sense to do that and that's currently around 470 uh, and then this is really the the holding the, the holding area okay if we hold this level it's good and it really depends what Bitcoin does as well if Bitcoin and Ethereum want to start banging it up then it will drag Pepe up with it of course and obviously I do think there is a massive run to be had over the next year uh, on a lot of altcoins and crypto in general but as of right now in the short Short term over the next few months or the next week or so uh, then uh, yeah I mean it's quite likely that we do potentially come down here okay uh, not to take anything away from Pepe all right uh, yeah it's, it's, it's not a bad coin I guess <laughs> it's, it's a frog but uh, yeah <laughs> it's it's okay it's okay and if you're making money with it then who am I uh, to to say any different right but uh, yeah big support here around 560 big support around 500 uh, and then this would be the kind of area you want to hold okay around this 500 to 470 area okay uh, if it is on the flip side here where we do actually break towards the upside because we haven't broken out of this pattern just yet guys right so uh, we can be patient here we can be patient it is in a downtrend right now and I would expect some spillover towards the upside soon okay but uh, with that that main structural line we talked about just now uh, coming up from this area okay we are below that line as we talked about at the start of the video so uh, just bear that in mind more bearish than bullish right now but uh, there is still a measure move towards the upside if we do want to recover and if we recover we essentially need to get above uh, this kind of area here the 60 minute uh, average true range okay so yeah essentially uh 950 or, or we could i uh, know 1000 is a bit high and uh, 950 is probably going to be the area we'll be targeting for a potential entry on this thing and then we've drawn this in one side to the other the most recent wave okay so um crypto behaves in waves a lot of charts behave in waves uh, and the point here as a trader is you've got to look at those waves and then when we break out of the range we can expect a similar sized uh, wave <laughs> to come through towards the upside or downside right so uh, if it's the downside we're, we're going from this side from the most recent wave the upside is this recent wave okay so if we're looking at this this is uh is what we're really eyeing up as of right now there is a smaller one here let's say we make a low here there is a smaller little wave here that you could be targeting uh, which would actually bring us to the all-time high kind of zones all right so uh maybe look at that area for a take profit but uh in terms of entry about 960 950 960 if we can get above that area that'd be great and if the price action uh, behaves a certain way this is how you enter the trade right so we make a high around this area we come back we retest the support then when we break that high that's the entry point okay that's the entry point in which we want to find that long and let's just put a percentage on that long and see what that might be 30 percent. you can't complain there okay most stock stock uh, traders will make four percent 
per year on their portfolio. So uh, yeah, 30% in a trade is pretty good. This is why we love crypto. Okay, uh, and this is essentially the trade I'd be targeting now. Let's put a percentage on the lower one as well. Okay, so again, exactly the same conditions here. We'll be looking for a low to be made, a retest, a break of that low, and then we enter. Okay, and with that entry, what we'll be looking for here uh, is essentially, yeah, 16%. Can't really complain there. Beautiful little trade there. And that's pretty much going to be it for this little bit of analysis. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I will just, I do just want to bring up one more level here, and that is the four hour uh, on the average true range. So let's just bring that up whack that on on our indicator here and just see whereabouts that is i'm expecting it around here this kind of area so let's see if this is going to load come on mate come on mate you're gonna let there we go so the four hour coming through here uh, around yeah pretty much exactly where we were talking about between that kind of 450 to 470 range okay 500 to 470 range this will go up over time as well so yeah you could probably target around that 500 area uh, for major support to come through so if it is a crashing scenario guys this is going to be the area i would expect to hold us up if we go back in the into the past here we can see yeah this is the area that we need this to reclaim once we reclaimed it bang okay we banged it up so this is really the 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 pivot points here uh, for the market you can see this four hour being that that zone where the buy pressure is too much and we do eventually turn it around after hitting that so uh, yeah something to look out for obviously this is a meme coin uh, and obviously the history it hasn't got that much history okay so the liquidity is going to be going up over time with this thing uh, and what we can expect is uh the the indicators and the correlations and the trading edges to change along with that okay so just bear that in mind when you are trading but overall a rule for thumb here this four hour average true range is going to be important around 500 uh, is going to be that major support zone and then obviously this structural level coming through as well so if you enjoyed this be sure to throw a like on there leave me a comment let me know where you think pepe is going do you think this is gonna bang it up to the billion million trillion market caps or whatever uh, or do you think this thing goes to zero i know i know the team hold a lot of the supply of this coin don't tell anyone but i do know that okay i, I know a lot of people in the space uh, and yes it's they own a lot of the supply so if they want to rug this thing at any point they can so just bear that in mind and yes there's loads of holders all of this stuff uh, and yes this is probably too big to fail right now but just bear that in mind with a coin like this uh, because i know there was a lot of funky stuff going on when they they launched this thing so just just keep that in the forefront of your mind uh comparing it to like doge or shib or something like that they have a lot wider in terms of uh spread out distribution of their supply compared to pepe is, is all i'm saying there right but uh, that's going to be it from me have a fantastic day thank you for the like and subscribe for more content like this cheers bye